Oh my goodness, I barely had time to go through the stuff in my car that I grabbed out of the new road. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I am back at the Goodwill bins for another treasure hunt. I am doing the intro in my Jeep because it is cold this morning. My Jeep said 44 degrees when I was driving up here. Oh my goodness, it's crazy, it's cold. We went from hot to cold, no in between. <laughs> All right, so let's go inside and see what we can find today. Burr. Like I said, it is chilly, chilly, chilly. I'm gonna have to break out my tennies instead of wearing my flip flops, cause it's cold. All right, let's go inside and see what we can find. I love looking at the Halloween decoration <laughs> every time. Okay, let's grab a cart here. Maybe I can get it out. All right, like always, we'll check out the glass and see what they have. Oh, these are empty, 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 empty. Look, they're all empty, all of them. Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll bring out glass. What the heck was that on? Those are old light bulbs. Huh, I don't know. Silverware. You know, there could be silver in them in them silverware bins, but that's broken. Um like real silver, you know, but I don't have the patience to sit there and dig through the bin. These are these are adorable. Oh, it's been broken and repaired. I was gonna say these are cute as heck. The, the man and the woman, but the man's been repaired. So I'm gonna leave them behind. And then some fruit. There's some fruit down in there. I see a baby. It's on a broken broken thing. I don't know. Is that a toothpick holder? I think it's broken though. So it's not turning right. Oh, maybe that's how it is supposed to be. I don't know. It's missing its top anyways. stuck on something. Okay. <laughs> my, my car is stuck on this dang chain. <laughs> I always like to look in these because this is um, like where people throw things back sometimes when they're getting ready to check it out. These are cute pumpkins, but Halloween's almost over. I'm only picking up Halloween if it's super kitschy, cute, vintage. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be vintage, but kitschy and cute. Just walking right on by. 
That's broken glass. Empty box. Nothing. Nothing. All right, let's go figure out. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is adorable. That is adorable and it's not broken or nothing. That's cute as heck. I'm gonna put that in there because I like that. I like owls. People like owls. And a ghost. All right, now let's go check out. By the way, that's, I don't know what that is, but that is gross. I just came over to ask my friend um, what was the new hard good that they brought out. He wasn't for sure, but when I was asking him, look what I just see out of the corner of my eye. This is adorable. So I'm definitely, definitely gonna pick that up. It's a little dusty, but it's in good shape. I mean, overall, I mean, I think the inside could be clean. The outside's in good shape. The inside could be clean. I'm definitely gonna pick that up. As long as the zippers work and everything. Okay, now I'm gonna go find out what is the new or the last hard good that they did. Alrighty, they are taking away these hard goods. They're gonna bring out a new hard row, and I literally just got here. And look, I found another one. It's awesome. There's, I'm stuck here with all men today. Alex is in Wisconsin, so I'm gonna get picked on. Yay, me. Well, this is what rolled out in front of me. Not much of anything at all. So I will show you guys what I get. There's a lot of people here. Okay, that was kind of a nightmare because it's so busy in here and it was a short row. But I did find, well, I traded my friend. Um, I got this vintage tambourine. It's in good shape. It's made in somewhere. Mm. USA. It's vintage. It doesn't weigh anything. I like it. Oh, now I'm over here. Oh my goodness. It's a paper mache pumpkin. That's like just like what I sold. The one that I sold the other day. And then... Oh, that's not what I thought it was. I don't know if I'm gonna get this paper mache pumpkin. I'm probably gonna leave it. Because it's, you know, the other one I got had a story behind it. So I'm walking back to the back and, um, cause what's nice about the bins that is before the short rows is they're in the back of the store or the front of the store rather, I guess. But nobody's over here. They're on the other side of the store. And I found this. And I love it. It is perfect for Halloween. So that's going to come in my cart. That's creepy as heck. So now, naturally, I got to look at this bin to see if there's anything else before I go over to the other bin. Okay, now I'm over here at the bin. Oh, that's tore up, but this reminds me of my childhood. Hi, riders. Oh, oh, oh. It's a cutie Santa. I'm definitely putting that in my cart. Vintage. big old hat. I've always wanted to get a big hat like that, like a fancy one, and go to the, it's a creepy frog, and go to the Kentucky Derby. I always thought that would be so much fun. Hey, there's a longer burger basket. It's in good shape. Why not? Why not pick up that longer burger basket when it's in good shape? Oh my 
goodness, than this big giant star pillow. It's huge. What is this? Like a knockoff Game Boy? The screen is cracked and damaged. It's like a knockoff Game Boy. It's hilarious. Never seen such a thing. Maybe if the screen wouldn't been cracked, I would look it up, but I don't think it's worth even looking up with the screen all cracked like that. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh. Its whiskers are weird. Yeah. Yeah, when I first got here. It's adorable. I'm leaving it. I'm just, I told you I'm being picky. Somebody's, that's toilet paper. That's a toilet paper roll. Toilet paper's expensive. <laughs> that's why when kids TP, I'm like, do they not realize how expensive toilet paper is? They do, they probably just don't even care. when there's all kinds of fabric and stuff in there. This is Starbucks, but I don't buy them. Because I don't list on eBay. Well, I should, but I don't. That's new. Look at this. Look at this crocheted purse. I love it. So I'm definitely going to get that. Try to make a clock out of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're crafty though. like that. I don't want it. What? I, think I don't should, want I it. I think you should have this, though. That's heavy. Somebody made this. It's made to be a clock or something. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. They're, oh, thank you. Those are pretty, but they're, uh, they're kind of crunchy. I'll take them. They're cool. They're pillowcases, right? Yeah. This, no. This is not me. My ladies will not buy that. <laughs> it was for you. <laughs> I put that on. Luke will run away. <laughs> oh, my. Look at Oh, my. Okay, so this is a huge, huge Super Bowl collection in here. I'm gonna put those in a bag. Ooh, he's creepy for Halloween. His hand's broken though. If his hand wasn't broken, I'd get him for a giveaway. But anyway, so I'm gonna put all these Super Balls in a bag and see how much they weigh. Cause it's somebody's vintage Super Bowl collection. I'll just stick them in this container for now. And then I'll probably end up getting those. Put them in a bag. We'll see. This is pretty neat and it doesn't weigh anything at all. It's like a hanging, it hangs. And it's very pretty. I really like it. So that's gonna go in my cart. I really like this. It's just a cute little plate, but it's like paint has come off right there, so I'm gonna leave it behind. Cause it looks like he's missing an arm. Missing an arm. What in the world is this big old coconut? It's like a painted coconut. See? Painted. Okay, so don't yell at me, but after putting them all in a bag and then weighing them, they weigh quite a bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it behind because I I just am. I also decided to put this back because I don't need it. And it's, I don't know what it was supposed to sit right there. So 
it's staying behind. I'm assuming salt and peppers because it's like a napkin holder, but I'm leaving it for somebody else. He's funny. Look at him. Watch. Let's see if I can stand him upright without him. Ooh. Isn't that funny? That he dances. <laughs> He's funny. I like him. I just don't know if I'd want to ship him or not because his ears stick out and I wouldn't want his ears to get broken. Penny Sue, how are you? All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'll be back. Here they come with new bands. This is what rolled out in front of me. Look at the doll furniture. I'm definitely gonna take this. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I wasn't able to film because it was a frenzy, but I'm going to go through all this doll furniture in here. I'm going to pick out what I want. You guys, I got some amazing things where, look, I got a little kittle still in its original package. I got, I think this is a really cute pop-up book. It's adorable. I got... I don't know if I'm going to get him or not. He doesn't weigh anything, but he's a vintage clown bank. Some people like clowns. Um, yeah, a paint thing, a vintage paint tin. This was a really... Oh, and a whole bunch of vintage books. Little books. Yes. Oh, and these cards. Really good bin. A row. Oh my goodness, I barely had time to go through the stuff in my cart that I grabbed out of the new rows, and they're already taking away these and gonna bring out some new ones. Yes. Well, here's what rolled out in front of me. Get that big spider. Deb. <laughs> we gotta wait for them to say go. adorable brand new in its package oh my goodness my stinking car is full today you guys need some oven mitts or santa's mittens or a box a shadow box Pay attention to other people because you don't bring your cards in the new rows. You see other people not putting them on the sides. That's adorable. But it's it's all twisted and broken. Isn't that pretty with the bees? Yeah. Okay, well, it's time for me to leave. Unfortunately, I got to go get kids today, um, but I cleaned out my car. I did put some things back. I'll leave them for some other treasure hunters because I got a lot of stuff in here. So let's go check out and get right into the haul. Okay, guys, we made it back from the Goodwill bins and spent a total of $18. So let's just get right into the haul. Okay, like I said, I, I spent a total of $18 today, so I don't think I did too bad for everything that I picked up. As you've seen in the, I picked up two vintage suitcases. Absolutely love these. They have a little bit of wear here and there, but both of their zippers work great, and they both have their handles. And I love them. I love the funky patterns, the colors, and... Like I said, they could use a little cleaning, but these are really fun. My mom actually has a collection of these, um, but she'll probably tell me go ahead and sell them because she has so many. 
so I, I love it. I just noticed on this big one, it does have a little bit of wear here on the corner, but you know, just for display, who's, who's going to actually use these, but for display, you know, these are awesome, awesome, awesome. So two vintage suitcases. Then I picked up this amazing crocheted purse crossbody bag. Absolutely love it. So nice and adorable. And somebody worked hard on this and made it and they did a good job. So I thought one of you might like that and enjoy that. And then for Halloween, I'm like, oh my goodness, yes. This is an amazing find. It is a doll head. Um, I actually scared one of our kids the other day with it. it. was so funny. I put a flashlight in there and was, or a black light and was making the eyes glow. It was really funny, but it's got a little bit of sticker residue on the back of his head. There we go. But yeah, I like it. I thought that was perfect for Halloween. And then Christmas, I picked up a vintage crocheted Cupie um, Santa. How adorable is this? So stinking cute. Absolutely love it. So I was happy to rescue that from the bins. And same with this. Now this isn't... It's vintage, but not, you know, like true vintage. It's from Department 56. Um, absolutely love this Christmas tree. You don't see these ones very often. Usually they're just the green ones. Um, but it is marked on the bottom, Department 56. So cute. It could use a little bit of, you know, maybe retwisting of the pipe cleaner there but so cute right with the little bulbs on there and the star on the top so that would go good in somebody's christmas display then i picked up this really cute stinking adorable piggy letter holder Isn't that adorable it's all metal it's got little feet and it can hold your letters or business cards or whatever you want it to hold so cute Then I picked up a Longer Burger basket. It's marked on the bottom right there, Longer Burger. Really good condition on that. So that came home. Embroidered pillowcase. I've been finding quite a few of those actually lately. I picked up a metal tambourine. This one is marked, um, it's a Kirchhoff and it's made in USA. There we go, you see it right there. So that's a good brand that was marked somewhere else where, oh, right there. So really cute, good condition. And then I picked up this little hanging thing. I, I don't know what it's for, but it's made really well. And it's really cute and kitschy with the angels on there. Some sort of cone. It's made out of like, like straw or wicker. Some, I don't know. You guys can kind of see right there. But it's really nicely done. So I thought that was a cute piece. And for halloween -y, I picked up this really cute hanging guy. He's got fuzzies in his hair. But he's adorable. He's got a plastic pumpkin head and then his body's all crocheted. Really stinking cute for Halloween. Some hankies, vintage hankies I picked up. Let's 
this really cute crocheted um, doll head. This would look cute on a gallery wall. Thought that was adorable, cute. One Anna Lee. I found one boy Anna Lee. He's so cute with his little top hat and his little bushy tail. He is from 1992. 1992. It's adorable. I picked up a whole stack of vintage books. There's a whole bunch of them in here, so I'll show you them right now. They're so cute. The Little Elephant. Little Red Riding Hood. Farm Pets. Look how cute and kitschy these graphics are. Little Bo Peep. The Princess and the Pea. Mrs. Duck's Lovely Day. Train coming. I like to see. They're so cute and adorable and they're like to tell a tell. A lot of them are to tell a tell, the Whitmans. Some of them are not. A lot, like see, a lot of these. Let me find the ones. So these, all these right here are the junior elves. So these are, these are good ones. So cute and kitschy. So that whole stack of vintage books. Then I picked up a bag of little people. Um, one of my friends subscriber uh, that watches the channel picked these up and gave them to me. So thank you very much. I really appreciate that. So we'll put those right there for now. Um, then I found this amazing vintage paint tin. I love this. Um, it is marked on the back. It's from London, England. I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but there we go. So cute. Look at the graphics. The little girl skiing, water skiing. Oh, my goodness. So stinking cute. The inside is a little, oh, it does have a little bit of rust right there. It does have a little bit of rust right there. The inside's a little, you know, rough, but not too bad. Not real too bad, so... And this is the part that you display anyway, so I love that. I just couldn't get over that. So I love that. Then I picked up this amazing pop-up book. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. Look at those little kids on there. And I have not flipped through the whole entire thing. I just... You know, it's not in bad shape. A little bit of wear here and there. But just to display this like this is so cute. But I did open it up a bit. And it seems to be in pretty good shape. So. It sees bit a little bit. But it's not ripped, so. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. So adorable. Oh, that seems to be stuck together. There seems to be a page that's stuck together. I don't know. But it's so cute and adorable. I really, really like that. So that... I found a whole bunch of vintage retro doll furniture. It rolled out in a bin in a tote right in front of me when they were rolling out new bins. So, of course, I'm going to pick them up. They do have a little bit of wear here and there. 
Um, but there's these two pieces. I love the yellow and the orange, very 70s retro. So those two pieces, these two pieces, there we go. <laughs> these two pieces, these little chair and a table. Like I said, it does have a little bit of wear. Looks like a little burnt spot or something on there. I don't know. This little chair needs a little cleaning. This, again, needs a little cleaning. A little vanity. And a toilet, a blue toilet. So that is so cute and adorable to find all that vintage doll furniture. And then in that same bin, I think in that same bin, I found a little kittle in its locket. It's missing the string because it used to be like a necklace, I think. Um, it would have a string attached to it, but it's a little vintage little kittle. See, it's marked on the back right there. Still in its locket. How amazing is that? So, so cool. I was really excited to find that. Then I picked up this vintage bell because the guy is sitting on a mushroom. And how fun is that? He's sitting on a mushroom on the bell. Still got its dinger in there. Seems to be in pretty good shape, so... Why not pick up that metal bell? I did pick up a few little treasures. This little vintage baby. Very old and tiny. So that little thing. A cabbage patch. Vintage cabbage patch toy. Another little kittle doll that's not in its case but just a single one cute little wooden angel with a bobblehead she's adorable little ornament this little beaded ball i thought that was fun and then some mini brands the Teddy Grahams, the wet ones, Pop Tarts, and Baby Bell Cheese. So those all smalls I stuck into a bag. And then I picked up some Mary Inglebright coasters. There's three of them here. That one. That one. And then that one. They were all um, stuck together in a bin, so I thought those were fun. People like Mary Inglebright, so. Then I found a bunch of these. I can't remember the wooden thing that they go to. You guys will let me know in the comments below, but. There's a whole bunch of these cards, like a whole stack, see? All kinds of different ones. So, I thought those were cool. Stack of cards there. And then the last thing that I picked up was this box. Now, I opened up this box. I thought it had the little nativity in there. Um, it is a, well, that's what I thought it was at first. But then I read that it said Christmas cards. And I'm, so I'm like, cool. You know, it feels a little bit heavy. I opened it up and it was literally full of all kinds of little 
treasures, like a little coin purse, um, two little Chanel animals, little dogs, um, a bracelet, a little bracelet, some cookie cutters, some tiny little cookie cutters. It's a mushroom. A little metal scoop. I don't know what that is. A little tiny mailbox. It even says mail on there. A little plastic one that's cool. A little rocking horse. A telephone. The bottom part's in here too, but it's really, really rough. Of the phone. A whole bunch of little metal cookie cutters. They're tiny little miniature metal ones. Those are in there. A little miniature snowman. An old snowman. This little miniature thing, whatever that is. It's marked on the back. Some miniature hangers. Some orange hangers. These would go good with that doll furniture. A little tiny ring. A tiny little ring. A little flower pendant, button type thing. Little miniature bottle. Little miniature duck. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Little miniature metal car. Little min miniature metal train. Little miniature cookbook. Yeah, just all kinds. There's some jacks. There's a little hat. All kinds of fun things in here. Just And there's more that I didn't even show you. Um, a cute little miniature rattle. So many fun things. Little trinkets and treasures in there. So I thought that was cool. I'm like, wow, it's somebody collected all kinds of little, whoops, little things and put them in a box like I do in treasure bags. So I thought that was cool. That was really fun to find. And that was it. That was everything that I got um, today at the Goodwill Bins. So what do you guys think? How do you think I did? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found today out of the Goodwill Bins. And as always, if there's anything that you're ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below as well. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Most everything you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get notified every time I go live and when I post new videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun got, um, finding these vintage treasures. It was a really good day. So as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.